Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another garden project. So if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I just got back from my Alaskan cruise with my dad. Go watch that entire series. But while I've been in cold Alaska, shivering with my hat on, <laughs> it has been hot, hot, hot in sunny Alabama. And while some of the flowers are struggling, all my zinnias need deadheaded, uh, hydrangeas need deadheaded, everything needs a little love. The weeds, the weeds are not struggling at all. So we are going to start pulling some weeds today. I think I'm gonna have to do a whole other video when I'm uh, deadheading because I'm gonna have to come out with my pruners. And a lot of the zinnias have actually, and cone flowers, different things, have actually dried quite a bit because it's been like a whole week being gone and it's been a week since I've been back, kind of getting everything back together. So instead of just deadheading, I think I'm gonna go through and save a bunch of seeds while I deadhead for next year. So I'll do a whole other video on that. Today we are just gonna focus on pulling weeds both from the past and from the garden because y'all it's just a lot so we're gonna get started you might have seen I already did this part so we'll start with that footage and then we will head down towards the shed where it looks the worst if you caught the first video where we like put cardboard down did the whole no dig method in front of the shed it looks worse than it beginning of that because at least that was mowed first so we are also going to move all of these long zinnias i've been leaving them uh, down into the garden so we'll get to the things like moving flowers saving seeds later today we're just gonna deadhead or not deadhead we're just gonna pull wheat so let's stop talking and let's start working because i think this is going to take like days All right, y'all, I am, I am done weeding for the day. It's been a couple days. Don't think I did all this in one session. I have been coming out and working on it a little at a time. Um, and I even didn't film quite a bit this morning when I was working down by the shed because my mom showed up to help. And what took me like three days to do by myself, we powered through quite a bit when she was here. A two people is always better than one person. You stay extra motivated. You have twice as much fun and be like, she's just a weed, like ninja machine monster beast woman. Like I, I cannot keep up with her. So I decided to forego filming while she was here, even though we normally film together because we just wanted to power through as much as we could while she was here. So you will see the full effect during the July garden tour, but I will at least show you the main things that we did. 
started down by the house and I weeded the entire path all the way. Oh, look at that butterfly and a bee all the way down to here. Then we came up around the path. Mom showed up about here. She helped me do all of this up to what I had stopped over here. So this was one day. Day two was up the path. Day three was with mom. We did this and then we headed down the hill. Now I still have weeds up here, but you can see I kind of just weeded a path around the garden. Got to do around this garden and then I'll come spray these weeds, but I don't want to spray too close to the flowers because it's bad for the flowers. But you can see, you know, like all of this will need to be done behind. We went behind starting here. So just that little swatch still needs to be done there. And then this is where mom started helping. So we came back here where I ended the first day and mom helped me weed all the way up to the end of the air conditioner. And then we did a strip all the way down the front of the shed. She did all in here in the middle of the garden beds, which are really on the struggle bus. But I have, you know, watermelons still growing strawberry plants look dead that heat when I was gone was just killer and then the shed this is where the worst of the weeds are you can see I need to put new cardboard down because it's just kind of deteriorated I still need to put down something to pea gravel or mulch or something but mom helped me weed a path here all the way down and that was the end of that day and then this morning I came out and I did all of this. So that's four days of weeding and I am literally going to go throw these pants away because about five minutes into the start of this weeding project, I ripped them and just decided these are now my weeding pants. I'm gonna wear them from this whole project and then I'm gonna throw them away instead of potentially ripping another pair of pants. This is why I usually just kind of work in leggings, but I don't want to wear leggings. It's so hot. So I know, I know people don't normally like wearing jeans in the heat either, but for some reason it works for me. So either way I'm done. I still have plenty more weeds. Don't worry. This batch seems to have survived the great purge. There's some along the fence, but mostly still have the entire garden to do. So all of this needs to be done started doing like anything in the actual garden beds that we see as we go but you can see there's this is a weed that will need to be pulled over here there's some weeds back there so i'm gonna have to come through deadhead all the spent flowers weed all the weeds and uh you know just tidy everything up still that's gonna have to be another day another project so if you enjoy watching weeds die, this was a great video for you, but if you uh, go to sleep dreaming of the nightmares of weeds like I do, then this was probably more nightmare fuel. So either way, thanks for hanging out with me. It makes the time go faster, especially when I'm by myself. I enjoy spending the last couple days with y'all. I'm going to go get cleaned up, throw away these pants, and I will be back to work on another project soon. Bye, y'all.